Okay, so I think this is where I want my birds. And I ended up getting, <clears throat> this is the golden soft gel matte medium. It's transparent-ish, matte, thin, thick. Hey, it's not even that transparent. Well, we'll see. Uh, I think I need this brush. Hopefully I can, Kirby's trying to get in. We'll see. Uh, I think I'll be okay with this brush. Come on, Curb, you can come. Come on. You're so sweet. Matt and Joe are here and they're working on uh, Matt's car, so I had the door closed. But I am going to put some of this here, put my little birdie there, and then just hopefully he'll stick and nothing runs. Oh boy. That looks good. Leave it. I'm not going to keep pulling on it. Just let it go. And this birdie, his little feathers were just um, uh, bent around the back. So, And he's going to be standing up. I'm going to make legs for him. So this one. My tree, I'm going to like um, emboss on that because it's just boring. I don't like it at all. It's kind of... Um, anywho. Alright, so let me put some of this here. Stick him down. And hope for the best. I just decided to try this instead of the Mod Podge because, I don't know, the Mod Podge was giving me a hard time. Alright, so it seems like I'm alright. That could have, I think it pulled a little bit. It did um, run. So I'm going to do right there. That's it. And I'll just draw the legs on. So that's that. Let me put that in order. Um, it would be kind of cool to have a couple leaves in the paper too. But something's bothering me about the tree. So <clears throat> I gotta let this dry. And I'm gonna add the veins and all that stuff. Um, I gotta color these. I'm gonna paint the birds, but I don't know how. I think I want these two birds to be kind of similar in color and this one to pop out. I might make this pink, like pinks or something. Um, so, let me think if I wanna, I can actually stamp out a couple of these on paper and then place them I think I'm going to do that. Um, so basically, I'm going to take a piece of my uh, book. My archival ink. Oh, that was terrible. Because I'm not using a block, it's kind of... But it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to cut them out. So that should be enough, I think. I'll just do a couple more. So um, maybe I'll put them along the tree. Something's bothering me about uh, the tree. It's just so brown and um, I could actually have kept the paper together and probably, all right, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I added those leaves. I added a little bit of yellow to the tree to tone it down. It was way too dark. So I basically, I just washed out some yellow and I like that much better. And I definitely put it on the branches too. And I'm just smudging it almost with my finger. And I'm just kind of even putting it on the background where uh, it doesn't matter because it was, um, part of the background, this yellow, so it's kind of cool. I can, yeah, it was just really bugging me. It was way too uh, dark. Okay. So now I can color my uh, birdies. And I think they're going to be blue. I think my birds are going to be blue. 
Um, let me see. I could use... Hmm... I'm going to try it. Let's go. Let's just do this. I'm going to do these two blue. I'm going to use um, my angle brush and I'm going to just hit it here and there and say hopefully it's dry because um, you know me, I'm not very patient. But I'm going to put the blue kind of under the wing. and blend it out and up on his head like I don't want it to be fully painted I don't know why and do the same thing for um, this guy like under the wing and on top of the head And I think I'll give them p pink cheeks. Got to give them a gold beak. But I got to give this, make this one a little different. Um, let me think. I guess red, right? Maybe a red bird. Yeah, I think red would be good. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to use this red. It's the pearl. Actually, it is red. I don't know where the, oh, Hollyberry it's called. So I am going to just, excuse me, fruit makes me burp. Go under the wing again. Oh boy, that is pretty. And pull it out. Oh, that was too wet. It's all right, because you know what? That matte medium really makes it uh easy to blend. All right, I'm just going to get the color on there and then I'll worry about. So that wasn't um, very good how I just did that. I wasn't thrilled with, I don't want it to get on that, on the background too much. And I, that was very messy. I have too, I had too much paint on my brush evidently. That is a very opaque color. So I want to do these, but I want to leave the, um, white too. I don't want it to be opaque. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So it's turning out pink. Um, I really didn't want the uh, wing to be pink, but I will do, uh, I'll come back and get that in a minute. Give it a, I'm going to give her a blue eye. I got to put her feet on, but I'll get to that eventually. Let's do a blue eye. I like this blue. I don't know. I'm just going to put that there. I use Q-tips a lot, you guys. They're awesome to fix your mistake. And then I think I'm going to try and make the wing, um, <clears throat> clear up the wing with the white pearl. I want to just uh, get that to pop again. I have brushes in my water and it's really messing me up here. There we go. Um, so I want to just get that white. Eh, it's not going to show up. I'm going to try and... There it is. Okay. I really just want to make that not pink. Eh, it's not working. I have to put gesso on it. I'm going to mix... I mixed that with gesso just now. Joe says, make it just so. Every time I say gesso, he is just so. It's so weird. Um, okay, this is not working at all. But I am making it sparkly because I love that uh, pearl paint. It's so pretty. They should all, they all deserve a little pearl paint actually. I'm going to give them a little pink cheek and I don't want it that pink. I have this color. This is a pearl pink taffeta. And this one's a satin. 
Camellia Rose. I'm going to make it satin. Uh, look, I, I don't know. I haven't planned this out at all, so you're coming right along with me. I'm going to give him a little bit of a rosy. Let's see what that looks like. My desk is covered in stuff. I don't like it. I gotta see this just this is a mop brush. It just softens it out. That kind of worked. I think their cheeks are up further up to the front. Yeah, not to the back. I'm gonna make it more to the front, like up here, because I don't know why. That looks better. Um that bird is way too pink. It's all right. It's okay. So let me make their wings, the bluebird's wings. Uh, my desk is just getting really kind of crowded. Uh, white pearl. Maybe with a little blue. Let's see what that does. Because I didn't put pearl on... Um, they were satin, so this is a different color, so that's good. Am I in the shot? Yeah. My battery is blinking again? Jeez. Uh, so I haven't embossed yet. I'm going to go ahead and finish up painting. I'm going to paint the, wing, I mean the leaves green um, and finish up all the painting. Then I'm going to come back and emboss. So I have decided to put some black lines on here with paint. I'm going to use paint and I'm going to outline some of these leaves um, because I like the way the black looked on the birds and I lost a lot of these leaves. Uh, so, And I like the way I can do this with a brush and it makes it look delicate, like the leaves are um, flowing almost. So um, let's see how that looks, shall we? What else am I going to do? So I still am definitely going to emboss. Uh, I think the tree is good, like I could still add a few filler leaves over there, I think. And that will kind of cover and help the, um, I'm like, for some reason, I'm like crowding out my tripod and, um, it isn't, I keep bumping into it, sorry. But I just want to add a little bit of black lines. I'm just going to flip around. I'm using a 10 slash aught liner brush. I have my paint very wet. It's about like the consistency of ink, inky paint. Um, my desk is full of stuff. That's what happens with mixed media. It's a very kind of disor disorganized feeling for me. I I like. Um, a process, a little bit more organization. I feel more comfortable, but this has been really fun. So I'm adding water to my brush, just making sure this is very wet. Um, this, I really enjoyed this piece. I think it's because I, I really knew where I was going, like I had an idea in mind for it. And so um, that really helped a lot. And like I said in the beginning, I was definitely um, inspired by something I saw that someone else did. So it's not my original idea, it's just that I had made these little birds before and thought, wow, that's a great idea to just um, do a canvas with these little guys because they're super easy. Um, let's see, are there, yeah, so these leaves right here, this one especially right here, you can't even see them, so I'm just going to make them more prominent. These down here, too. And I think that is actually doing exactly what I needed to do. 
it's popping everything out from the back um, and then I'm not oh, I'm gonna do gold highlights too I'm not sure that I shouldn't be going over this with something else to really set it into the piece but I'm used to um, in decorative painting things are allowed to be uh, in the forefront so all right I'm gonna go away finish all that outlining everything and then I'm gonna emboss okay I'll be right okay so I just glued my words on and I decided I'm gonna go with these little leaves <clears throat> and try and emboss them I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the I think I really do want to do this I just want to do it I'm gonna do it like right there I'm gonna do it but anyway um, <clears throat> It's funny, you get this far in the piece and I was having trouble sticking my, my words down straight and then I was sticking my fingers in it and I was like, oh my God, if I mess this up now after all this work. <laughs> but I mean, I got them straight enough. That's the thing I think um, with mixed media is you don't have to be perfect. Just get it on there and having those little... Um, kind of crooked letters and stuff it just makes it more hand done it, it looks like it's definitely uh, not something that was store-bought you know so I'm kind of trying to embrace it like right now these lines could be so much better but I don't care and like when people use their pens they're very quick and you know scritchy scratchy scritchy scratchy is that a word scritchy scratchy like if this wasn't dry, see I just can't have that. And this doesn't look right either, sorry. See paint, I'm used to being able to take paint off. And I like being able to take paint off. Um, and those pens, you can't really do that with as easily, I don't think. I don't know, I mean I think you have to paint over them. So I'm going to leave that. Now, the thing I'm a little bit worried about is, and I'm still going to put gold paint on um, the veins of the leaves. I'm going to do that. I'm a little worried that when I try to emboss it's going to stick to everything. So we'll find out. I'm going to turn off my fan. I'm going to move the paint and I'm going to use uh, this. I'm going to use this one but first I want to put I'm going to put this block, uh, it's just a stamp that's big, and I'm going to put it right up in this corner to give me some pressure. See, it's not going to be good. I think it's going to be hard to get. Like, the way it's made, this is hollow. Maybe I should just try and do it without the um, block under it. I think that's going to be my best bet. I'm just going to emboss right here this music note, and I think I'm going to put one... Maybe I'll do here and here, here, and here. I think I am. I think I want to do it twice. So let me get my, um, what is it called? What is this stuff called? Um, where's the mark? And I'm really just, I really, 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 really hope this works because I, you know, you do all this work. And you don't want to have uh, it mess up now. But I'm doing this to catch the, I'm using gold. Where's my embossing pen? Right here. So I'm going to just try and put this right up here. Is this upside down? Yes. Oh my gosh. Good thing I looked at it. Oh gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... Right here. Right here. And I'm giving it some good pressure. I don't know what this is going to look like. It might just end up being a blob of gold, which would really stink. But, you know, that's the fun of it, I suppose. And let's see what happens. I got a little bit, but... It didn't come 
it's it's not really there I think I'm gonna wipe it off if you can see there's only embossing powder it, it's definitely not um, the music notes it's not showing up as music notes so I am I'm just gonna wipe it off I'm not gonna emboss that right there so I'm just gonna get I should have probably not contaminated the rest of it but that's okay I don't think I'm gonna do that I am going to just stick with the um I'm gonna do these little guys instead. Oh gosh, Sarah, hold on. Okay, good. Um I should transfer this to some type of a little jar. Alright, so instead I really really want to do this. I could do like I think I should just put these leaves coming out of here. I think I'm gonna do that. And that way I can push down if I need to. And I think I am going to try and put this underneath. I don't know. I think I just need that pressure. And I'm just going to do it right there. Hopefully it'll be good. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So I don't even know where that was. And hope for the best. Well, there's embossing powder all over the place. I do see leaves, and I think I am going to keep it. I'm going to get my, um, one of my, these are from Perfect Pearls, these brushes, but I'm going to use these to kind of take off some of the embossing powder because uh, where I had stamped the um, music notes is still there. That's funny. So I guess wiping embossing powder off doesn't necessarily work. But I, I think it's there enough. I think I'm happy with it. I wanted a little sparkle um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it I don't know where my time is on this video but you can clean up your embossing with a little brush like this so I think it's gonna be okay I think I can see it so I am going to just set this aside Right on my brushes. All right, and let's emboss that. I have a couple minutes. Let my gun get hot for a second. I hope I don't like destroy everything. That's like my worry. But I think that'll be cool. It's very blotchy too, though. But we'll just say I'm gonna go for it. It's not, it's like really blotchy. You can tell it's leaves though. But it's so like, oh man, I effed it up. I effed it up, you guys. I'm going to let you see me do this, but I'm going to do it again. I'll eff it up over here. And uh, hope for the best. Like, I, I have to do this. I have to. Um, right here. I mean, I don't have to, but I want to because it was in my mind the whole time. I need to... I think I'm going to run out of... I think this one's going to work much better because I hadn't already put embossing powder on it and like, all right, I'm going to go away and come back. Um, so this one's going to look clearer and neater and I'm going to have to figure something out for up there. Put a leaf on top of it or something. 
I probably should have done the embossing before I did everything else so that it would just be in the background. I'll do that on the next one. I'm going to do another one. I might change the saying too. Ooh, that's bubbling. See, I think the paint might bubble. I like it though. I do like the way the, the gold embossing looks. So that looks, it looks cool. Like I don't hate it. Let's see what it looks like from the front. And I think I need to just do a couple leaves here and a couple leaves there. And like I'm just going to do it with this. So I'm going to use this and just put like a couple leaves like here. Right there and up here. Right there. I think these are definitely um, getting on to the surface, so we'll see. And then I'm going to just use this again. Put that on there. This will catch it. And I'm going to try and put this here. I think I got it. Yeah, I did. And then this goes... Sorry guys, this is a little bit tedious. I, ha I should put this in a Tupperware thing. That's what I need. Where did I put the embossing powder? Up here somewhere. I mean... Good. Oh, those are definitely going to look better. That is a good, yes, a good stamping like. All right, and then I think I'm done. What else did I want to do? Uh, yeah, that's a shame because these, this one came out much more defined. Oh, I was just gonna put some gold th throughout like the piece like on this um, gold paint. Yeah, these look much better. So that looks better. Sometimes it doesn't um, emboss all the way. And yeah, that one looks messed up. So I'm gonna, let me think. I'm gonna definitely um, shade the words. I wanna shade them. And I'm going to pull gold through some of the other leaves just to tie it in. I should probably stamp. Maybe I could stamp on that. No, I think I want to scrape it off, really. That's what I'd really like to do. Um, I don't know, guys. i got to put my fan back where I'm hot. I'll clean up my embossing powder in a sec. Uh, so anyway, this was a good idea because I definitely figured out what not to do. Um, that's too thick. Uh, so I would do it the other way next time. Um, just emboss before I do all my details and have my focal stuff on top of the embossing. So this is all I was going to do for um, just to add a little bit of gold to some of the leaves. That might have even just looked good enough. Like I, I really didn't need to go crazy with the embossing, but I definitely wanted to add some gold. You know what I should do? Fleck it. Like tch, tch, tch. I should fleck it that's a cool technique. I like that. Um, but this was fun. It definitely was fun. And I like it. I think it turned out cool. What um, should I shade the words with? I guess brown, right? I'll shade them on the bottom with some brown. 
And what do you think? Do you think I should be done now? Call it quits. That's the thing. I, I tend to not know when to stop. I don't like that necessarily. I gotta get it. I gotta load my brush correctly and get some fresh paint. All right, I'll be back. So I think I'm done. The last thing I'm doing is I have my black fabric or it's not black. I'm sorry, brown. Maybe it's called something different, but kaput mortem. I don't know. My brown pit pen, and I'm just shading underneath the birds. That's it. Maybe a little underneath the branch. Um, I did go back. I did under this birdie already. I don't think I did here. Um, what am I trying to say? I went back. Oh, okay, good. You don't know what I did. All right, I'll fix it. Okay, okay. I went back in with some white um, gesso on a lid and put that on top, but I pulled a couple of the, the leaves up again. I just repainted them and pulled them up so that the that embossing doesn't like totally distract you from the piece. Um, I put a leaf here and a leaf here to distract you from this embossing. And I just pulled a couple leaves up, up from the embossing because I do think in the future I will put the embossing underneath. Like I'll layer, it won't be the uppermost thing. Um, what else? Uh, oh, I stenciled this stencil with the hearts. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to try and tip this with the white pearl. You can kind of see some here, down here, definitely. See that shine? So I, oh yeah, all, all over the bird here, you can see that shine. So it's not really like opaque. See how it's just a shimmer? So I did that. What else? That I think is it. Oh, I stamped a little bit more. I came back with a, that was my battery. Um, but I came back with um, a couple stamps, a few more stamps. I don't like it that dark one up there. That's what I like about when you add the gel medium and stuff, you can rub things off. And I just, I made the tree line again, the black, I added that. I added any black lines that I thought needed to pull the main um, focus in a little. So I like it. I'm really, really happy. It was super fun. I signed my name. Um, I haven't finished the edges or anything. I'm, I'll paint them because uh, I might hang this in Maya's room. Uh, what else did I do? I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, my little kind of walk along with me while I figure this out. And the next one, I'm going to do this one. I love the colors, by the way. Like, I love how the blue and yellow made green. Like, I love that. Like, I think it turned out really cool. You can see the main um, ingredients or whatever, uh, main focal points really well. I think it, I think it's nice. Like, see, I can see in the video, I can see that embossing really well. This one doesn't bother me as much. Like, and then there's just a little bit up there. So just a hint. Um, I like it. I'm really, really happy with it. I mean, I'm sure I was going to add the, um, these things, which I love the texture of that. Like, and I'm sure I could add them somewhere, like maybe in the little nooks and crannies of the tree, but I thought, then I thought it would look like eggs or something. I don't want to overdo it. I think this one, I'm going to just call this one done. All right, you guys. So I'm going to go see what this video looks like because it was very long. Um, and I, and I thank you all so much for watching. Thank you.